Hey folks, it's Jim again. Okay, so we have one remote fuel tank. One line going to a filter, one line going to an old school pump. Coming all the way up into my filter in the carb there. And uh, I got this here pump to work right. It wasn't doing quite what it was supposed to do a little while ago, but you know, it did. So now, I'm going to shoot it, or tar start this darn thing, sorry about that. Start with our negative on here. Let's get caught up on other stuff. Alright, so negative and... Oh, there you can hear it. We don't have a leak. Well, maybe we do, I don't know. Nope, so I'm going to shoot a little juice in there. See if we can't get this thing to last a little bit longer than the other times. So here we go. Okay, I don't know. Let's try a couple of pumps and see. I'm not, I don't know if the accelerator pump's working or not, but we'll, we'll give this a shot here and see. Maybe so. Boy, it wants to go, doesn't it? Give him a little juice there. It's been sitting for like six years, so you know. You know what I think I'm gonna do is this time I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take that pliers out of the carburetor there. Shoot it with a little juice in there. It might be more than a little. Anyway, and see what we get here. I think I'm gonna give her another good juicy, juicy one. I don't know. Gosh darn guy is so close, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna pump it and see if I can see anything coming out the accelerator pump jets. Um, we should still have it idle, but you know, it has uh, been sitting for a while, so a carburetor might need to be pulled apart. Who knows, you know? So, anyway, come back again, I'll show you what I got. 